I was driving to work um, 4.30 in the morning and I was driving 50 miles an hour northbound. The guy was driving 50 miles an hour westbound. He ran a light and T-boned me. And that would have just been the T-bone, but he pushed me into a signal pull. That pull basically hit my left shoulder and went four feet through the car and just twisted me up in there. Obviously, it appears as if firefighters were able to remove the roof of that vehicle to get to that person inside. Yeah, and even as we speak, they have moved or removed the driver of this vehicle uh, onto a backboard, I think uh, onto a stretcher here. Uh, and again, we have not seen any medical assistance to that person at all. And I came out of that thing with uh, 15 bleeds in my brain, uh, four of them like a grape, which is like strokes. You know, a crushed shoulder and neck complex three, four weeks after the crash, and I'm still kind of getting my head back in shape. And the first guy I met was an off-duty police officer, and he just kind of came up and gave me a big hug. And he said, son, I got to tell you, I was in the LAPD for 15 or 20 years. I was in the Kansas City PD for about that long as well. And I've seen more than most. And you are the luckiest man I've ever seen. You know, I was constantly in pain. Over a nine year period, I had five surgeries on my neck and shoulders. And I managed to be as good a dad as I could be, spent time with my children and my wife, but nothing else. It was physical therapy, surgery, and pain. After about eight years, my right hip, because of the way I was crushed, needs to be replaced. This would have been surgery six, total right hip replacement at 39. And I'm thinking, like, I don't think I can take another one of these surgeries. I was kind of on the fence, didn't know what to do. And then I started hearing about Kansas Regenerative Medicine. And stem cells are so abstract that you, you look at it and you're like, okay. What really got me off the fence was it was time to schedule this hip replacement. And I'm like, no, nah, no. So I go to Kansas Regenerative Medicine and I'm, I'm expecting maybe some orthopedic benefits. The treatment I got there was, you know, they take tissue out of your, you know, your belt line, your waistline, might be on your back or here. And because of my spine needing so much, they took it from three spots. And, and so once they process these cells, it takes about an hour, you know, you're sitting in a comfortable room. They come back in, they put it in an IV. You know, they say one to six months is when things happen. And you know, one to three months, I was like, oh, these shoulders are feeling good, right? But then month three to seven for me is when I was like, holy cow. I mean, like, I mean, I can feel my, I can feel myself. And, you know, I, no wonder I've been in pain. I'm sitting crooked on my hip and you turn your hip like this. After all this, I've got a passion to help the suffering born from my own suffering. I've been given a gift that I didn't ask for, but it's something that, when you go through the things I've gone through, it gives me the ability to communicate to people that are in a place I used to be and help them understand stem cells and how amazing they really are. It's like I've been given a second lease on life. <laughs>